amount of sunshine for some spots off towards the east this morning. Off towards the west, it is cloudy or fry for sky cam. 61 degrees in Amsterdam, just a little sliver of sun place like Amsterdam. The reason why it's cloudier off towards the west, whereas it's brighter off towards the east, is because this front's moving on in. But it is moving very slowly, so even though the showers are maybe just 100 miles off towards our west, they will take time to get here. On the back side of this front, we're going to usher in a fall-like feel for the second half of the weekend, and that will continue at least into the early part of next week before we really start warming up once again. 66 in Albany, 63 Saratoga, it's 59 in Lake Pleasant, 64 in Utica, where rain is on your doorstep and 60 in Pittsfield and 62 in Bennington. So temperatures 50s and 60s, but on the other side of this front, it's 40s and 30s. So cooler air will be intruding once that front swings through tonight, and especially you'll feel that into the day tomorrow. Our highs for the day will actually be pretty early this, probably pretty early in the day, late this morning and into the early afternoon before the rain picks up into the afternoon. So by 11, 12 o'clock, rain is still just off towards our west. And then after around 1, 2 o'clock, that's when the rain should start picking up. It's generally light, but notice a few yellow and oranges popping up. Those could be some of those steadier elements. And can't even rule out a rumble of thunder. There's not that much instability, but enough that uh, surely a, a rumble is possible. Showers swing through, and then I think we're already starting to dry out by 5, 6 o'clock. So it's a fairly quick passage. This evening, largely dry, just a few stray showers, mainly back towards the lakes. And tonight feels like a much cooler air mass. Uh, upper 40s for a lot of us. Some spots in the Adirondacks falling into the low to mid 40s and the winds stay gusty throughout the night. Tomorrow we have more sun, but it's just a much cooler day outside. Most of us are stuck in the 60s. Some of us in the Adirondacks and in the Catskills may be stuck in the upper 50s where there's a few more clouds. It feels even cooler. A few showers are possible back towards the lake. So in terms of rainfall today, it's a widespread at least quarter of an inch of rain. If you get under one of those steadier pockets, perhaps you get up to a half an inch to maybe three quarters of an inch of rain. Been a while since we've had rain, and it actually may be a while until we have another shot at rain. So this is isn't necessarily a bad thing. Front moves through tomorrow, just a few spotty showers around 63 to 68 with a gusty cool wind. Monday's a little bit milder, but we're still on that generally cool flow. Few showers are possible, mainly off towards the west, but a few may get into the capital region during the afternoon. It's upper 60s to low 70s, and by Tuesday, we start off a really nice stretch. Sun and clouds warmer and dry, low to mid 70s. So this weekend into early next week, it's very fall like and cooler. This moves out and it's back to a summertime feel throughout much of the rest of next week with temperatures rising close to 80 degrees and then some. This afternoon, 68 to 73, high temperature early into the afternoon numbers should be falling. Periods of showers, straight chance of a storm will be breezy as well. Tonight, a cooler night, few showers mainly off towards the north and west. Locally, we should be dry, 44 to 49 with a cool breeze. So if you're out early tomorrow morning, you'll feel the cool temperatures. And even into the afternoon, despite some sun mixing on in, only 60 three to 68 a few spotty showers off towards the north and west tomorrow night 45 to 50 degrees partly clear but at least those winds should ease monday's another breezy day chance of a few showers and then the rest of next week sees warming temperatures and largely dry conditions